Charlie here, and today we're criticizing Nux Taco? I know, I'm just as shocked as you. My biggest video ever is defending him in the V Shoujo drama. I actually genuinely hate that video, it's my worst video, I hate that it's my most popular. Seriously, go watch something better. Don't get me wrong, I do stand by everything I said defending Nux in that video. Nux has been one of my favorite YouTubers for years now. In fact, if it wasn't for his videos on VTubers, I'd have never been interested enough in VTubing to try it out for myself. However, just because I enjoy someone's content doesn't mean I think they're free from criticism. It all started when not too long ago, Nux tweeted a silly thing about lollies, and before we get into this, what's your definition of a lolly? Cause something I've noticed about lolly discourse, especially on Twitter, is that everyone seems to have a different definition for it, so no shit everyone argues about it. They can't agree on what it even means. If I said yellow is a number, there's gonna be a whole slew of people eager to scream at me on why I'm wrong. Now, when I first heard the word lolly, I was like 14 or 15, and I kept seeing it solely at adult characters who just looked young for their age. By that definition, fucking Tsunade from Naruto is a lolly. As time went on, I've come to realize it's more so an extremely broad spectrum of small body types, meaning you can find this hot and this not, and still be a lollycon. In every definition for a lolly I've ever seen, age is never a factor, but every anti on Twitter that calls lollycons pedos seems to think lollycons are specifically children. Nux tweeted, nothing as beautiful as friendships forged in making fun of pedos, with a screenshot of Mudahar quote tweeting a parody Jordan Peterson account, Nux quoting something from the recent hashtag lollycon ban on Twitter, only for right under it to have Nux saying this was just a joke and now he's getting death threats. Now whether this was a joke or a hot take, he doesn't deserve death threats, obviously, it ain't that deep, we're discussing fictional characters here. Konota Izumi will not be thanking you for defending her honor. Chill. Honestly, when I first saw this tweet, I was more just confused than anything. I could have swore I saw him say he's okay with it in the past and show lolly hentai to fellow content creators for videos, but I was like, guess I'm remembering shit wrong. Then what about my life? It wasn't until he said it was just a joke and that he doesn't think lollycon was pedophilia that I was double confused, cause what's the joke? You can't say lollycon is pedophilia then feign shock that lollycons are calling you wrong and calling you out for using lollycon shit in your thumbnails. The best thing I can think of was that the ban on the hashtag lolly had nothing to do with lolly content and everything to do with actual predators hijacking the term to post actual children. So it's actually a very good thing that a guy banned. So maybe that's what he was referencing. Um, however, no one got the joke and it just sounded like he was calling Lollycon's pedos. Th this Jordan Peterson tweet was satire. So he, so Mudahar took it out of context as a joke because it's funny. So I took this guy out of context also as a joke, also because it's funny. Now saying that nothing is beautiful as a friendship forged in making fun of pedos, neither Jordan Peterson nor this tweet are literal pedos. So that's the comedy. The comedy is that neither of them are pedos, but we're bonding over making fun of pedos. Not that they are literally pedos. Now, I genuinely did not care about this joke. Nux is usually a funny guy. I ain't gonna make a whole ass video because he made a joke that didn't land. If you're taking jokes seriously, you're doing it wrong. What's interesting to me, however, is Nux's response to Rev Says Desu. Rev is a content creator. I honestly don't watch his videos super often, just like every once in a while if there's something that he's talking about that's been on my radar. From what I've seen, he's kind of the genre of commentary, news, drama, shit on VTuber and anime content and ranting about whatever dumpster fire is circulating on Twitter. So needless to say, he made a video on Nux's lolly joke and Nux made a response, and that response was not his best work. Like, I was gonna make a video on it, uh, I was thinking about it, and then I was like, dude, if I make a video roasting this dude on my main channel, YouTube will literally deplatform him. Like, YouTube actually, 
watches my stuff. Especially ever since I've been on the, the Some Ordinary podcast, YouTube has really been paying attention to, like, what we've been saying. And, um, I'll be honest, if I would make a video on him on the main channel, I do think you get taken down for either bullying or the whole, um, weird pedo stuff. Nux mentions numerous times how if he were to make a video on Rev on his, like, main channel, YouTube would just nuke Rev's channel, no questions asked. Like, I don't know how Nux meant it, so benefit of the doubt, but to me it almost sounds cartoonishly evil. Like, hey, I got the power to snap my fingers and ruin you. I can destroy your channel. I won't, cause I'm a good guy. But just know, I have the power. Like, damn, Nux, chill the fuck out. He just said he didn't like your joke, she. Also, well, I do think you get taken down for either bullying or the whole, um, weird pedo stuff. What the fuck are you referring to here? You can't make allegations like that with no proof. What pedo stuff is Rev involved with? I didn't want to talk about it in the main video because I'm afraid YouTube would literally ban him for either bullying or the whole lolly pro thing. Pro lolly. So, you do think lollycon is pedo shit? Lolly is an actual pedophilia, obviously. Oh my god, Nux. I don't even care if you're for it or against it. Just pick a damn side already. I will not stand here and let Rev frame me as a hypocrite. I'll make my own video and do it my damn self. His whole video is trying to frame me as a hypocrite because on the one hand, I say that it's sus. Lollipop is sus. And then on the other hand, I'm friends with Chibi Doki. And it's like, your likes are public, bro. You literally liked the tweet from Chibi Doki and she's a lolly. Funny thing about this is... Rev never mentions Chippy Doki in this video. I don't even think he name drops any VTuber in this video now that I think about it. All Rev says is that Nux likes lewd lolly tubers. Even in the clip you show Nux, he doesn't mention Chibi. So you're just gonna have to take my word for it that there are multiple images of lewd lolly VTubers in his likes from very recently as well. So take that from me. So unless you consider Chippy a lewd lolly tuber, I have no clue what the fuck you're on about. Rev uh, retweeted a tweet saying, This video by Rev says Desu is just perfect. I hope we can finally separate Nux Grifter from the VTuber community. Meanwhile, Rev is the biggest grifter, and I'll tell you exactly how. Before you do that, let me interject real quick. I fucking hate whenever somebody's like, This VTuber did X. So we should cut them out of the VTuber community. What the fuck does that even mean? If you're using a VTuber model, you're a VTuber. Do you want Nux to quit VTubing because you didn't like his joke? That's stupid. I find it so narcissistic when people think they have the kind of power to kick someone out of a community. Uh, anyway, tangent aside, carry on Nux. Dude, there's nothing wrong with lollies. Lolly is personally makes me a little uncomfortable, and that's okay. That's completely okay. There's nothing wrong with saying, I don't like Lollicon. It's not for me. It makes me uncomfortable. Putting your joke aside, I think it's using lolly hentai in your thumbnails and content that has people confused. I mean, why are you seeking out content that makes you uncomfortable? Okay, he didn't understand how my tweet was a joke, which is mind-blowing. Nux, have you checked your Twitter? No one understood it was a joke. Sometimes, you just gotta admit, you know what? This joke didn't land, and that's okay. We've all made jokes that didn't land. I don't know why you're dying on this hill of, no, fuck you, that's funny. When no one on Twitter.com got it. I told you, I don't want to make a video in response because I'm afraid YouTube will see it and actually take him down. Like, I, I'm afraid they will literally take his channel down, and I don't want to be that guy that got his channel nuked off the platform, even though he sort of deserves it in some way. Y'all don't get it, guys. Nux is so powerful. He's just scared of how powerful he is. We don't know how strong he is, just that if he wanted to, could take down this planet with his YouTube channel. This is seriously ridiculous, so I followed a lot of big YouTuber drama, and I've never heard someone say they can just take down someone's channel before. Have I missed something? I mean, I know Nux is a big YouTuber and all, but I didn't realize Susan would throw down for him like that. I mean, shit. I've seen channels dedicated to criticizing the president. I've seen channels dedicated to criticizing God. But damn, don't you dare criticize Nux. He'd never abuse his power, of course. Nux is a really good guy like that. This just reads to me like, um, <laughs> like that my daddy owns Microsoft shit, you know? This dude makes believe he's a victim, okay? He makes believe that him and his poor lolly community. <laughs> it's so 
so funny to say, are victims, bro, to the normies out there that think that they're pedophiles. Did we watch the same video? Where are you getting that vibe? He said he didn't like your joke and pointed out that you had lewd lolly shit in your life and that you used the lolly hentai for like your thumbnails, then showed clips of you calling lollycon weird and pedophilic. You mentioned those clips were out of context and we will get to that. I will defend Nux in the aspect that there is a category of people in the lollycon community where if you do them so much as say, I don't like lollycon, people will come out and screech, There is nothing wrong with lollycon, I am not a pedophile. Which is sus and weird, like no one said anything like that, but I do question people that feel the need to scream that with no accusation pointed. Okay, I need to shut the fuck up and let Nux talk, cause we're only like six minutes in. His content is he'll go, he'll dig up a tweet that makes fun of some lolly art and he'll take that tweet with like two likes on that tweet and he'll lambast that dude in front of 600,000 people. Like I said, I don't watch Rev super often so I have no clue if he's ever done that. But judging from what I can tell, he just talks about whatever is trending in VTuber anime and Twitter communities. Nux, you literally show small clips of Rev's video on you, but you can't be bothered to show proof of any claim you make. You can't just make claims like this with no proof, especially with a claim like he bullies people that have literally no audience when you yourself have 396k over his 56.4k followers on Twitter, over 2 million on your main channel, that will of course destroy us all and send Rev to the Shadow Realm, and about 11,000 more than Rev on the very channel you are posting this on. I can't be bothered to watch every damn Rev video until I find what the fuck you are talking about. Prove your statement. Nux even at some point brings up that Rev used a clip out of context when he was discussing a lollycon discord that was grooming children, which is 100% something he should be allowed to talk about. He took that clip without looking at the context, without doing his research to try to literally cancel me. If you would have watched the next segment of that video, I would have said, well, there was this Discord server, where the, uh, a glitch tail Discord server, where in that Discord server, lots of lolly porn was floating around. There was lolly hi all over the place over this glitch tail character, Betty, Betty Noir, the, the glitch tail character is a lolly. And it's a lolly discord server about Betty Noir. And in that discord server, people got literally groomed. There is a VTuber who got groomed in that discord server, which is actual pedophilia. And then that same VTuber groomed someone else in that same discord server. So if you'd have actually watched the clip of me saying that there is a problem in the VTuber community when it came to pedophilia and talking about lollies, you would have let me finish my sentence and explain myself. Even you would agree that this is actual pedophilia. But then he never shows the rest of the clip. Like who the fuck are we expected to believe? The person who says the thing then cites source to say thing or the guy I already caught lying in this video alone. I'm not saying Nux isn't out of context, I'm saying I don't know if he is. I do agree that Rev shouldn't take random clips and just run with them without looking into the context first. And to Nux's credit, Rev does say the clips were sent to him by viewers. Clips of Nux being an anti were shared in the replies and quote retweets and sent to my DMs by concerned viewers. So it's entirely possible that they could be out of context. So I'll give Nux a point to this one. For the sake of being fair, I'm not going to show any clips Rev included because they could be out of context. Like, I genuinely do not think Nux is pro-breaking lollycon legs. And also, he keeps mentioning how I got ratioed. Dude, does this look like a ratio to you? Rev never said that. Many people were angry, as you can see by the number of quote retweets. Look, I'm friends with a, a streamer called Emmy, Emmy OK. Rev made a video, it's a huge video, just blasting her, pulling up and digging up dirt on her from like, seven years in the past. Literally seven years old clips of her in a really difficult situation. A tough real life situation of her that he'll dig up and he'll try to blast her. And you're probably wondering, why does he do that? Why does he go out of his way to just bully somebody? Uh, the answer is because she tweeted something along the lines of, uh, lolly porn is weird. 
or pedophilia. That's not what happened, Nux. Putting this out there, I do not think Emmy O.K. is the same person she was seven years ago. Hell, I'm not the same person I was last year. People are going to learn and grow and change. What is even the point in changing for the better if your past mistakes are constantly thrown in your face? There's nothing wrong with calling out bad shit, but always give people room to learn and grow from their mistakes. I think everyone's point more so was the drama was who are you to point fingers and be so judgy when you've done X, Y, and Z. I'm not going to discuss Emmy's past controversies beyond the lolly shit, because I don't want to potentially cause her more trouble. Nux says she still gets hate for it. I was originally going to give a refresher on the Emmy OK drama for those of you who may not be aware, but I decided it wasn't necessary or relevant to this video's topic. All I will say is being mentally unwell does not excuse bad behavior. I get it. I struggle with my mental health a lot, and I have plenty of unhinged moments where I am not myself even to this damn day, but I am responsible for the things I say and do, regardless of my mental state. As far as that clip of Emmy goes that was circulating, I know it doesn't define her as a person, and I certainly hope she's doing much better these days than the state we saw her in in that video. Now, Emmy did not say, Lolicon is icky. She literally used images of another VTuber's model and called her pedo bait. It'd be one thing entirely if she just said Lollicon was pedophilia. I mean, yes, there'd be angry Lollicons arguing with her, but the fact that she was targeting a specific VTuber to harass makes it so much worse. And that VTuber did face harassment after what Emmy did. It was a hot take of hers. I think you mean it was bullying, but go on. And she literally gets hate to this day on all of her stuff. Everyone that collabs with her, I got hate for collabing with her because of Rev's video. I think that's dumb. Nux should be able to associate with whoever he wants and owes no one an explanation for that. And while yes, Emmy did need to be called out for bullying another VTuber, people, especially on Twitter, go way fucking overboard, and at this point, just let it go. Emmy's moved on, that VTuber in question has moved on. Give Emmy room to grow and change and learn for the better. Having her in a constant state of being harassed and overwhelmed is not going to do her or anyone any favors. I got, first of all, way more hate than I ever got gave to the lolly community. <laughs> that's a little fair actually. I hate that the lolly community and the anti community for that matter are both so damn hostile that you can't say one thing negative about either side or you'll be bombarded with people calling you a pedo, sending death threats. I do not doubt some members of the lollycon community may have gone fucking ballistic. Rev didn't but I'm sure many others did. Twitter in general is an absolute cesspool where everyone's insane and lacks any understanding of nuance. And I'm sure Nux, as big as he is, he probably does get a lot more hate than the average Twitter user. And the average Twitter user has it pretty damn bad. Talking about bad faith, this dude went around and his wife, they were asking VTubers that are friends of mine for dirt on me. They were literally asking VTubers for dirt on me privately. Again, you have to prove claims like this. Who's trying to cancel who, Nux? Rev and his fiance seem to deny this on Twitter. Believe it or not, I actually hate repeatedly calling one of my all-time favorite VTubers a liar. So I want to give Nux the benefit of the doubt. Maybe a bad friend lied to him. Maybe Rev is lying and we don't know because citing proof is such a difficult task for Nux. Maybe the truth is a peaceful route and it's just a silly misunderstanding. This dude literally just wanted to make a video to try and take me down. Oh really Nux? What was the purpose for this video on Rev? My, my simple phrase of I like lollies, lollies are totally cool, but lolly sus, that that alone debunks his entire video. I think Nux actually has a point here. I genuinely do think that his follow-up tweets when he realized his joke didn't land and he said Lollicon is not pedo shit was good enough. While 
I do get people pointing out the hypocrisy. I don't get the whole, he's a full-blown anti now, and lumping him in with people who do consider lollicons pedophiles when he's still pretty adamant that he doesn't think they are. I mean, for the most part, there's some wishy-washy things he says here. And then he calls me out for my thumbnails, dude. They couldn't believe the guy who has used lolly-related content in his thumbnails, videos, and the same guy who has openly befriended lollicons followed and praised lollicons on Twitter, could be making such a statement under glaring hypocrisy. Have you seen your thumbnail? This thumbnail, lolly likers are pedos. This is in quotes, like it's something I actually said. I did not say this. I didn't even say this a little. Not even a little. And this dude's like, oh, dude, we're going to make this thumbnail. So, dude, when it comes to thumbnails, you can be quiet. Oh, yes, Nux, because we all know how you're above clickbait. Secondly, why are you pretending he's not making an actual point here? Well, yes, you don't have to be a lollycon to hang out with other lollycons. That's a bit silly. You do use lollies in your thumbnail. And no, you don't pick an innocent picture of Gorat and call it a day. You pick lewd images cropped enough to be safe to put on YouTube. And sure, maybe you can make the argument, Oh, I don't make my thumbnails. I got a guy for that. But even then, why would you agree to thumbnails that display art that make you uncomfortable? I don't care enough about this drama to actually put together a well-researched main channel video. Looks like you can't be bothered to make a decent side channel video either. <laughs> I thought you didn't want to use your main channel because it's magic or something. If off the top of my head, on a stream, I could literally, like, break him and crumble him apart. Nux, this is not a good look. Why did you post this? He just didn't like your joke. It ain't that deep. I don't know what goes on behind the scenes. I don't know, Rev. I don't know, Nux. Maybe Nux has reason for this level of weirdness. But from an outsider's perspective, it just looks like Frev hit a nerve right on his ego, and he's not taking it well. You literally tried to cancel me over this. I have no problem with someone watching this video and continuing to watch Nuxtaku. Tell Rev the context? I don't need to tell Rev the context. If Rev is going to make a video trying to cancel me, he should make. He should figure out the context. I feel like that's uh, pretty obvious. You try to cancel someone, you got to figure out the context yourself, homie. It's not on me to educate you if you want to cancel me. Exactly. So why have you not shown proof for anything you said this whole video on Rev? Why are we... The viewers expected to either trust you or try to do the research for you. Look, benefit of the doubt, he's on stream discussing a video and going off memory. Maybe Nux isn't intentionally being dishonest. If I were to go off memory for something, I'd get some details wrong too. I get his viewers wanted to hear his opinion on it and he didn't want to watch it. So why not give a quick it sucked and move on? Or at least correct any mistakes made in the edited version that was posted on YouTube? For a guy who claims Rev is trying to cancel him, it really looks the other way around. If you can't provide proof for those claims, whether it's not wanting to show DMs, not wanting to get other people involved, or what, then don't say them, because it just looks like you're trying to turn people against him for literally making a video on your tweets and video thumbnails. Nux has said that he doesn't believe Lolicon is pedo shit. He has cleared up that misunderstanding, so I will say any level of hate he's getting for not liking it is weird. Like, I get the confusion of seeing him use Lollicon thumbnails and then saying Lollicon makes him uncomfortable. I don't get any anger of him being like, I'm not a Lollicon. Like, I don't know what he wants. Do you want him to watch Lolly Hentai? That's so weird. I mean, he already has a video where he does look at Lolly Hentai that's still up during the making of this video. Today Isaac. we're looking at the alternate works of Nanashi. <laughs> These are oh. other things that Nanashi has made. <laughs> it's not a contradiction to say, this ain't for me, and also say, the people who are into it aren't bad people. These are both statements that can coexist. Also, I want to make it clear, I'm not necessarily defending Rev as a person. I don't know the guy, he could fucking suck for all I know. Maybe everything Nux said was true. I just didn't like the way Nux was going about it. It just seemed like he was trying to turn people against Rev. It ain't okay to just throw wild accusations and see what stick. It's okay if Nux dislikes Rev. I'm not saying I wish they were besties, my OTP is gone. But even if you absolutely hate someone, grow the fuck up and don't pull some mean girl's ass, Regina George ass, gossipy shit because you don't like the video saying, this joke was not funny. My personal view on Lollicon 
it's a nuanced topic. I'm an extremely petite woman. I'm four foot eleven, and like, I don't think I'm all that young looking. I look in the mirror and I see an average 25 year old woman, but everyone tells me I look young. And one time at a grocery store, an old lady asked me what middle school I go to because her granddaughter really wants to dye her hair crazy colors, but her school doesn't allow it. And I had to be like, ma'am, I'm a grown up. What I'm getting at is I see my body type get called disgusting and pedophilic constantly. And it makes me sad. Aww. I mean, at this point, I've realized Twitter is full of people that have brain rot and just want to argue for the sake of arguing, so I've learned to just mostly ignore it. I do try to avoid the conversation entirely most of the time, but the whole reason I gave my VTuber models bigger titties than my IRL self and a slightly bigger ass was because I saw shit like this and I didn't want to start anything or make anyone feel uncomfortable. So I decided against using a VTuber model based off my own body type. Now, going down to the lolly level of fictional children, not gonna lie, I don't like it. Much like Nux, I find it uncomfy. So you may have noticed I never used any Anya hentai in my YouTube thumbnails, and there's a damn good reason for it. I don't like it. I have seen people defending consuming this kind of content by saying I was abused as a child, and this is how I cope with it. So the last thing I wanna do is potentially throw abuse and harassment to people just coping with trauma. So. If you're somebody who absolutely hates Lollicon, believes it affects reality, and how about instead of making the conversation, oh, you're gross and disgusting, pedophile, oh, you were abused as a child, well you're just as bad as your abuser. Instead, why not make the argument be, is this a healthy coping mechanism? Cause fuck if I know, I genuinely have no clue. I ain't judging either way, cause I'm the last person to go to about healthy coping mechanisms, but I do think it's a much more productive conversation. I think both sides of antis and lollicons are toxic as hell. I've seen lollicons and antis go way fucking far by harassing or even doxing each other, when at the end of the day, they're just disagreeing about fictional characters. Antis. Going after lollicons for child abuse is the laziest activism you can do. Please, if you are passionate about saving children, go help actual children. I can assure you, Rika Ferrude is just fine. Whatever that lollicon posted is not canon. Lollicons. Not everyone has to like lollicon. I get defending yourself when people call y'all pedos, but I don't see the point in y'all defending yourself every damn time someone says, I don't like lollicon shit. More specifically, stop sending lollicon art to antis. It's one thing to be like, Your likes are public, bro! It's a whole other thing to send lolly or any kind of pornographic material to somebody without consent. Also, keep in mind with cases for people using lollicon to cope with trauma, there's also people who have experienced similar trauma who find lollicon content triggering. Not everyone copes in the exact same way, and you may be causing harm to another child abuse survivor. Also, I think this is obvious, I ain't trying to cancel Nux, but judging by how Nux responded to Rev, it seems he thinks any sort of criticism is an assassination attempt. But I do not want to cancel Nux. I don't want to cancel anyone I mentioned in this video. I'm all about giving everyone room to grow and learn and better themselves. I am not perfect or free from fault either, and if I ever fuck up, I'd want people to let me learn and grow from it. What's the fun in tearing anyone down? I like Nux. He's one of my favorite VTubers, and I usually enjoy his videos, so why would I want him cancelled? I've seen some people be like, We should've let him get cancelled by V Shoujo, and that's dumb. If anyone wrongly goes after Nux, he should be defended just as much as anyone else regardless of how hypocritical he is on this one subject. I don't even think he needs to apologize for his hypocrisy. He's a grown man. He can do what he wants. I'm not his fucking dad. I just kind of felt like pointing it out is all. I do think it's funny that he's changing his old thumbnails. Nux, you literally have videos where the sole purpose is showing your friends a lollicon. And yes, Nux calls it sus and says he's surprised that the creator of Nagatoro hasn't been cancelled yet. The author of Nagatoro? It's kind of sus. <laughs> How has this man not been cancelled? Nux isn't giving any vibes that he's into Lollicon, so I don't think he's being hypocritical in that aspect. But he's clearly not that uncomfortable to seek out this kind of content. She ends up having an epiphany that in order to survive, 
She must drink fluids. So everyone's like, obviously they want to see the friendship show. So she puts in the shock collar that she happens to be wearing. At the end of the day, I think we can all agree, child abuse and pedos are bad. I actually hate discussing drama. It makes me anxious as fuck. The entire process is just me like, oh, I should cut out that joke. It's too mean. Oh, I hope this doesn't get misinterpreted. Oh, I'm just causing more problems, aren't I? Oh, I shouldn't post this, I just shouldn't. I do sincerely hope that this video sounds fair and doesn't seem as though I'm being too cruel to anyone. That's not my intention. I was just trying to follow one of my most favorite VTubers' advice and be wholesome to wholesome people and toxic to toxic people. Goodbye. There's 69,000 lollicon mangas.